In this lesson, we're going to integrate x squared sine x dx. And we need to use integration by parts. And just as a reminder, I've placed the rule here. In this case, we need to figure out which term is going to be the u term and which term is going to be the dv by dx term. And if you've never used integration by parts before, I suggest you look at my earlier tutorials. Uh, let's just crack ahead with this. And for this particular case, we're going to let u equal x squared and dv by dx, that is going to be sine x. Now I need to differentiate this, so we get du by dx. So differentiating x squared, we get 2x. And we need to integrate here, so v. Well, when we integrate sine x, we get negative cos x. So, so far we've got that the integral of x squared sine x dx is equal to this side here. So it's going to be the u times the v term. So the u term is x squared times the v term, which is negative cos x minus the integral of the v term. So negative cos x times du by dx, and du by dx is 2x, so that's multiplied by 2x dx. Let's go ahead and actually simplify this a little bit. So x squared times minus cos x will give us negative x squared cos x. I've got two negatives here, and I've also got a, a 2 here. So I can take that coefficient and those two negatives and put positive 2 times the integral of x cos x. So I've just rearranged this x here with the cos x dx. Now clearly I'm going to have to use integration, integration by parts again on this part here. Let's just do that over here. I've got the integral of x cos x dx. So I can let u equal x and dv by dx well that's going to be cos x. Differentiating here we get du by dx is equal to 1 and when we integrate we get v is well the integral of cos x is sine x. So the integral of x cos x dx becomes, well it's the u times the v term, so x times sine x, so x sine x, minus the integral of the v term, which is sine x, times du by dx, which is just 1, and we have dx on the end there. So we've got x sine x minus the integral of sine x is actually minus cos x so minus cos x and we can simplify a little bit further here we've got x sine x two negatives make positive and cos x obviously we'd have our constant of integration as well but we can leave that to the very end so this here we can now substitute in um, over here so what we'll end up with is minus x squared cos x plus 2 times x sine x uh, plus the cos x close that bracket plus c and we can simplify and rearrange and whatever else so we can get uh, 2x sine x plus 2 cos x minus x squared cos x plus c.